Okay. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday to you all. It is a good day here at Makers Gonna Learn. Um, we have lots of friends here who are really excited about organization, which just warms my heart. Um, as a anxiety-filled person, organization <laughs> makes me feel like I have a little bit of control. Are you a control freak when it comes to organization? I Kendall? am a control freak, yes. Okay, yes. I feel very overwhelmed if there's a lot of clutter. Yes, so I'm very excited to show you some of our favorite ways to deal with organizing in the, in the I was gonna say classroom, the craft room. Um, if we can get through all the things that I wanna talk about today, then we are also going to make some labels. You can see here I've labeled, I don't know if you can see it actually, um, but these right here are labeled and so I wanna show you how easy it is to create your own labels using a Makers Gonna Learn file and font and some amazing Zakoto printable vinyl. Who do we have here today, Kendall? Do we have any new friends here? Um, I see Amy. She says, hi, friends. Hello, Alexis. everyone. Hello from Alabama. Elena says hello. Yes. Do we have Kendall or Courtney? It is it's Kendall, Kendall today. Yes. I know, it's so hard to tell the difference between us. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm so excited that you found us here at Makers Gonna Learn. And if you don't know what Makers Gonna Learn is, I am excited to let you in on a little secret. Uh, it's not even a secret. It's not a secret. We can tell everyone. Uh, Makers Gonna <laughs> Learn is the best community for crafters ever. Absolutely fantastic. Joining my first live with you all. Hello, Melissa, welcome. Um, Melissa, if you are not already a Makers Gonna Learn member, I wanna invite you to click the link that Kindle is dropping for you all and try our membership for $1. Uh, so many of our $1 trial memberships will report back in 24 to 48 hours. I was a dollar member for 24 or 48 hours and then I automatically upgraded because they love the Makers Gonna Learn community and what we have to offer here. So if you wanna try it out as well, click the link below um, and get in on the action. Hello, Miss Mary Ann from Morristown, Melissa from California. Libby, Lori, Nancy, there's some, there's quite a few names here that I yes. don't see a lot, so I'm very excited. Amy is right, best community ever. Um, Kat says, hi, Kendall. So excited to talk about organization. I also deal with FOMO on organization yes. and anxiety. Uh, yeah, so let's talk about this for a little bit. I'm trying to figure out where I wanna start. Um, first of all, let's talk about these right here. Uh, and we have, these are, um, is it Sterilite or Ster, how do you pronounce that brand? Sterilite. Sterilite, Ster, S-T-E-R-L-I-T-E. -E. I'm butchering it. <laughs> you all know, you've seen it everywhere. But these are perfect for storing your cardstock in 12 by 12 vinyls. We love them. We have 24-ish of them, maybe more than that, maybe close to 30. And um, we like to organize them by color. So we have one bin here that is blacks, whites, beige, one that is browns, grays, and creams, one that is red, orange, and yellow, two that are blue and green. Now why we don't just make one blue and one green, I'm not sure. I think it's because when you get in the turquoise, there's like the fine line yes. is blue or green. Yeah. And then we have pinks and purples. And then we have also taken um, the Zakoto printable vinyl that I absolutely love and a file and a font here for Makers Gonna Learn, and created these awesome labels that I'll talk to you all about in, in a little bit. So you can put 12 by 12 card stocks, you can put 12 by 12 vinyls, heat transfer vinyl, um, or we even have, I think this one is our eight and a half by 11 card stocks. So organizing by color, we even have patterned card stocks, glittered card stocks. Um, Christmas organized in our craft room. So this is one of my favorite ways to organize paper. I think it's actually one of the best ways because you're not work like the other ways that we've done it in the past would be like, and like um, with those binder folder organizer things where it was like uh, up and down. Like the, yeah. Yeah, and then and it kind of gets crinkled. And, yeah. and yeah, so we do love it this way. Um, and then in our other craft room, before we moved here, we had, they were like cubby cube things. Mm -hmm. And so it was just all of our cardstock stacked up. It was a nightmare. So um, what do you recommend the members to do or anybody organizing their craft room, like color wise? 
So what makes you organize it in the colors that you did? Well, uh, Rachel did this. Okay. So oh, I have to that's... ask her. If I were organizing, I would do it sort of in the rainbow spectrum. I would okay. do neutrals, which I think is what she has done. Blacks, whites, and beiges. Mm -hmm. So neutrals, and then we have grays and browns. I mean, this could be, I probably would have done black, gray, and white. And mm -hmm. then uh, brown, uh, cream, and... Um, probably just browns and creams, like tans, that type of thing. Um, do they hold 12 by 12 paper? Yes, fantastic question. The 12 by 12s fit perfectly. Let me get the actual dimensions here of this for you. Um, this on the outside is 14 and a half by 13 and 3 eighths. And so the drawers. Always got that measuring tape. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's hard to see because it's further, but it's over 12 and a half by almost 14, by 13 and a half. So 12 and a half by 13 and a half. So it will hold, like I said, 12 by 12s. Um, the new smart sticker card stock, which we don't love, but um, it will fit in there as well. So if you wanted to organize that in there, you could do that. Or if you wanted to do rolls, like I know if you don't have a ton of, car, of cards, or not cards, card stock, if you don't have a ton of vinyl um, that you would just need to stack, then you could roll it individually and kind of organize them that way. It just depends on how much you have. Um, does everyone rearrange their craft room a couple times a year? Heidi, I don't do that a lot, but I do like to go through there and occasionally donate some things. Um, I do like to kind of clean it, pull everything out so that one, I can remember what I'll have. I think a lot of times, I'd say a lot of you all are guilty about it as well, but um, I think a lot of times we buy a bunch of stuff, put it away, and then forget that we have it. Yeah. Um, Teresa, that's how I store my paper. Erica from Chicago, hi, welcome. Anyway, so we love these. This is one way that we love to organize. Another way that we love to organize, and I can't bring one in here, is the cubes. Um, Ikea creates these bookshelves that we put um, like a tote in, and we love to organize that way, especially if there's like our sewing, uh, just different sewing things are in one. We have a, a three of them that are for like sublimation blanks. Um, one that's just for tape, like washi tape and uh, masking tape and that type of thing. But we have, I mean, we, we have a large area and lots of things to organize, so maybe that's not entirely feasible for you. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, if you're looking at the things that I'm talking about today, all of it is sort of a lateral or vertical organization. Um, and the reason that we like to do that is because it takes up less space. You, you have way more lateral space than you do um, alternate. And so we like to capitalize on that, not capitalize. We like to take advantage of it. Okay, so this is lateral. I mean, you could do several of those even if you wanted to. And then we also have this Cricut bunk, which we I have. I love the Cricut bunk idea. Thank you. This is actually not my idea, um, but I did create it. One of our amazing members, Miss Jill, posted over in the private Facebook group. Um, her version of this, she had purchased a shoe rack and not put like the bottom part, have I mm -hmm. told you this? Yeah. Not put the bottom part on, uh, and it was like the perfect size. And I was like, I can do something like that. We can make it a project, because it's super fun. And so I found these hairpin legs on Amazon and spray painted them, and then created this top out of one by twos, painted it, put a little vinyl on it to make it custom. Um, and we have an entire member only video on how to create this. Uh, it is launching August 26. This is a font that is launching with that font collection, which brings me to this. Um, because we've gone in just a little bit and we have more viewers here, if you are not a Makers Gonna Learn member, did you know that Makers Gonna Learn members benefit from getting over 50 new cut files and fonts every month? 50? Over 50, every single month. I mean, Add how are you even gonna craft there. with all of that? Right, absolutely. <laughs> and that brings me to my next point, unlimited downloads. So you can download every single one on the, on the site as many times as you want. Um, so that's amazing too. And I don't know if Kendall has dropped it lately, but she will in just a second. If you want to take advantage of um, this amazing offer, it's our $1 membership. 
trial membership. And with that, you can choose 20 of your own cut files and fonts to download um, straight from the website, browse through it, look at them. We have a favorite button on the website and I recommend using that because I guarantee that you're going to find way more than 20 that you love. And yes. so favorite all the ones you like and then weed through and choose the 20. What happens more times than not is that people end up upgrading to the, the monthly or the yearly membership just because they see the huge value in the membership and all the amazing cut files. So anyway, this is launching with the font uh, cut file collection on August 26th. So if you are a Makers Gonna Learn member, you will get the member only video for this. You'll get the supply list. You will get the written instructions as well as finished photos for that. Uh, we love this Cricut bunk because if you have two Cricuts, then you can put one on top and one below. If you only have one, you could put it on the top or the bottom and then use the other area for more organizational storage like I've done here. Um, so you can make it, you gotta have a little bit cute in with your crafting. Yes, right? I feel like this would look really good like if you craft on your kitchen table, like you don't necessarily have a craft room. Mm -hmm. This would be perfect because yes. I mean it would still be cute on the kitchen table. Absolutely, it's adorable. And then I've even seen some of my friends who have a um, like a built in desk area in mm -hmm. their kitchen living yes. room area. And so they've created that in as their their crafting area. And again, this would look cute there. It wouldn't be an eyesore at that point. Yeah. Is this twelve dollars a year, Catherine? It is not twelve dollars a year. Um, it is the full membership. The yearly membership right now is one hundred and ninety one dollars and eighty eight cents for the entire year. It's billed annually. Um, the trial dollar membership is for one month. Um, and it is obviously since it's a trial, it's a limited membership, but it gives you an idea um, of what MGL is all about. Kate says I was one, I was a one dollar member for about two hours and couldn't resist <laughs> upgrading to yearly. There's too many I good options. That. I love that. Uh, how much is the annual membership? Just covered that for you. Amazing. Um, I did the same thing. It saved us so much money. Melissa, isn't it interesting if you look at how much? If you buy your cut files and fonts a la carte from Etsy or other vendors, um, just how quickly that adds up. Like, you can sometimes get cut files and fonts for like 99 cents. They're generally not fantastic if you get them that cheap. But I've paid, before I worked here and knew how to create my own cut files, I was paying, you know, $6.99, $7.99 for cut files sometimes, and that adds up really quickly. Um, how much is it? for members. How much is what for members, Miss Catherine? Um, I would love to answer that for you. I started one, I started the dollar membership and don't regret jumping in to be with all these amazing friends is what Amy says. Um, Donna, you won't regret it. Gracie, look, Kendall, these people are selling this for us because they, really they love are. our membership so much. <laughs> Um, Erica, I just bought my Cricut and a bunch of the blades was not cheap, but trying to decide if I should bite the bullet and go yearly or not. Erica, Let's let our members decide for yes. you. <laughs> There's just so many perks not yes. to. Yeah. Um, our yearly membership, if you, especially if you want to use your die cut machine or computer guided cutting machine um, to make money, if you want to sell your products with it, then the yearly membership is a no brainer because you get the free commercial license, which enables you to legally sell products with that you create with our cut files and fonts. Um, there's no other membership that does that. No. Um, so that's sort of a no brainer. Uh, Marianne, I love the yearly membership. You will not be sorry. Marianne, we love that. Love to be able to download multiple fonts. Yes, we love all the fonts too. Some amazing ones. One of my favorite fonts, which is still not released. I cannot wait until I think it's September or October. I'm going to be doing a thousand projects with, with it. You guys are going to get so, so tired of it, but it, it couples really well with the Mary Catherine font. If you like a script or hand lettered looking font, then the Mary Catherine and this new one, it's actually called Eleanor. So be looking for it. I think that name is so cute. It is so cute. I love it. Um, but coupled together, it's like the best font pairing ever. I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Anyway, um, so after this, I want to talk about two other little organizational pieces. And I don't know if you want to do the overhead camera. Okay. Um, I know it's zoomed in really far, so you'll have to let me know what they can and can't see. This little guy and this little guy, I love both of them. I have this one first. Is it in the camera? Mm -hmm, it okay. is. I have this one first. 
Um, and it is actually made by Cricut. You know that a lot of times here at Maker's Gonna Learn, we don't use a lot of Cricut brand things. I, however, love this little guy. It unscrews right here and you can put your extra adaptive pieces. Rich has an extra blade in hers here. Um, and then this flips up and you can put all of your extra tools. Um, so your deep point blade or your fabric if you have it. She has an extra fine point. The rotary, the knife blade, um, just an extra one for like the deboss debossing tip and, and whatnot. Um, but I absolutely love this one. Um, it's small. I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. Um, but then when this one came around, I, I, at home in my personal craft room, have trouble deciding what to do because this also houses all of those things. Um, you put your blades right here and then your adaptive tips right here. And in addition, we've featured this several times. We love it so much. You can customize the colors. Um, there is a version that does not have this part right here. So if you have the Explore series or a Joy or something like that and don't need this part where the adaptive heads are, then there is another one. But um, squeegees, all of your weeding tools, the scissors, the brayer, there's a spot for all of it. And so this type of organization uh, just speaks to my heart. <laughs> uh, have I missed anything? Where do I get the license? I'm a yearly member already. Veronica, great question. You can just go to the website um, and see it on the website. If you want a PDF version um, to actually print out, then you can contact customer service hi at makersgonnalearn.com and you, uh, they'll email you a PDF version. One ninety one eighty eight a year, uh, what does this include? Fantastic question. You know what, let's go to our website and I will just show you really quickly what all it includes. So we're gonna go to the website, makersgonnalearn.com um, and I'll show you. The membership um, includes access to our private Facebook group, which is our members I would say it's probably their favorite benefit. Yes. The community and the access there, and the, it's such a great resource for uh, support, uh, for direction, for guidance, for constructive criticism if you want it. Um, and we absolutely love the private Facebook group. So it does give you access to that. Monthly and yearly members get access to it. In addition, you have the amazing website here. So you have the all the cut files, I'm just gonna broadly go over this. They are in category and then you can search them as well. We are updating this constantly to make it more user-friendly for you all. But um, thousands of cut files, which I did say we update every single month. We drop at least 50 new cut files and fonts every month for you all. And we try to do, we don't try, the first cut file collection release of the month is a member choice. So there's a spot in the private Facebook group where you can drop comments for cut files that you would like to see in the membership. And we try our best to accommodate those in the member choice cut file collection release. Then we have fonts as well. So many amazing fonts. We love our fonts here. And then they are categorized by type. So you can look at that. Um, another cool thing, and I'll show you in just a second, is that we have a collective PDF. It's an ongoing PDF that we update with each new launch that um, is a place where you can, you, you can download that PDF if you want. And um, sorry, I'm reading comments and trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> you can download the PDF and have it for easy access. What program do you use with your files? Are you talking about to create files? If so, I love Illustrator to create files. Um, okay, so we have the cut files and fonts, which you would think, wow, that is absolutely amazing. How could they give me any more? Because there are thousands of them. But we also offer our yearly members free courses. In these free courses, we have our 30 Days to Master Your Cricut, which is an amazing course for beginners especially. It is everything from teaching you how to open the Cricut box, which is a lot of people's hang up, to learning the terminology, to learning about design space, to learning about the different tools that you might need as a beginner crafter. And then in the last video, we make your first project with you. So that is a very invaluable resource if you are a little bit timid about starting your crafting journey. In addition to that, we also have 
a fun tutorial on applique pillow, uh, a charcuterie board with resin. We dive into felt and make some awesome rolled flowers, some giant paper flowers. We have an introduction to sublimation course, um, screen printing, larger than matte, and all of these courses are available free in the yearly membership. In addition to that, I feel like it just keeps going on and, and on. And you get a free card. And then you get this. <laughs> we have our member only projects. And so these projects are categorized by collection release. I'm not gonna dive totally into this. But if you click on um, this one, for instance, that is teacher, then all of the cut files for this particular release will come up right here. And you also have right here projects that we have created. They, since they are member only, there's no selling. It is 100% start to finish instruction um, for how to create these specific projects. It includes um, supply lists. It includes a written tutorial and extra photos as well. And then I wanted to point out one other resource really quickly, our dashboard here. Um, Melissa said that the 30 day to master your cricket is priceless, that she would have paid over $200 for that alone. Oh, Melissa, I love to hear that. She felt like a pro after. Amazing. And I do want to point out that we have just updated this course to accommodate the new new um, changes in design space so be looking for that in the next coming months we're really excited about it um, but under your dashboard is where you can find the printable resources right here again all of this is free to our yearly and monthly members and um, just really quickly we do have the here's the download for that 30-day challenge that I was talking about it's a uh, workbook to go along with it our iOS guide, um, and then we have some awesome charts on the different blades and things like that. And then this is that PDF I was talking about that we update every time that we do a collection release. So that's in a nutshell what the yearly membership um, includes. Sorry it was a long, a long little uh, rabbit hole there, but I just get so excited about our yearly membership. I know. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, if we wanna come back to this. Um, so we have these that I love to organize with. And then I'm gonna to try to get this on the table without spilling it everywhere. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things ever. Uh, and not just for crafting, but these cards, I call them a craft cart, but they're not just a craft cart. Um, normally I have wheels on them. This one does not have wheels. This is from Ikea. Um, you can get them at Target. Actually, this one may be from Target. You can get them in lots of different places, but I love the ones from Ikea. The color is absolutely amazing. Um, I love them because I love to put all of my most accessed tools in here. For instance, I have my um, heat resistant tape. I have some gloves in here. And then you can, I didn't put anything in here yet. These little organizers. I love those. That's from Hobby Lobby too. Yes. Right? Um, a little easy press and mats for easy access. And then in the top, I have my ATG gun. I have my paper trimmer. I have Lynn Lily gun and oh, a heat the gun. Lynn Lily. Yes, because I mean, you need that at all times. Yeah. Readily available. Yes, my transfer tape, alcohol, which I don't know if a lot, but Rachel does. Uh, <laughs> my mini easy press. And then, of course, my glitter bag because that has to be easily Becca accessible. Becca her mini easy press. Yes. <laughs> Which is your favorite easy press, Kendall? I like the clamshell. You or is do. It, I do. Yeah? I um, mean, you mean turtle shell? <laughs> yeah, the turtle shell. I think they should shell. change the name to make it easier on me. <laughs> anyway, these you can get for under $50 or around $50, and I honestly think it just makes a huge difference. Um, when being able to easily grab things like this. So another lateral organizational thing. And then I wanna show you one more thing before we make our labels. Let's go back over to the share screen. And I am going to show you pegboards. Let's talk pegboards really quickly. Um, this is the one here in the office that I love. So Anna helped me decorate this, she did most of it, and then she got mad at me the other day when she came in and realized that I had added more to it because <laughs> I needed it to also be functional. <laughs> Dear goodness, Anna. Anyway, but what I love about pegboards is that you can make them both cute and functional. So let's just go over here what I use on a daily basis. I pull these off and use them all the time. This top shelf, I don't really use 
um, any of it. It's really just for pretty because it's so tall. Um, these washi tapes are not something that you use a lot, but you do want. And they're so pretty, I wanted to access them. Of course, the Cricut pins, I access those a lot. The um, sewist clips, I use those a lot. Um, the crochet hooks, Lynn That's Lily, my goodness. Some pom poms? Yes, yeah, pom poms right here. I. Well, I'm going to be honest and let you know that I bought, or I put these specifically in here because I wanted them pretty and I'll probably never use them. I just want oh, them to be pretty. Really? I know you like pom-poms. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. And then I have my rotary cutter that I do grab a lot. Uh, like I said, the Lynn Lily here, the paint brushes that I grab frequently. I don't know if you can see it right here, but I do have one, two measuring tapes. <laughs> and then the cord to my Lynn Lily. So like I said, this is both pretty and functional. Here is the um, little case that I use for my needles. And then of course, my quilters ruler. Um, I love this pegboard. It is from Ikea and you can get all of these little cups and accessories from Ikea as well. I have since noticed that Amazon has um, some extra little accessories too. Where did you get the tool organizer? The one that looks like a, a Cricut machine is from Zacarius Engineering. You can find them online or Etsy. Um, exactly what I was looking forward to seeing your pegboard. Lisa, that is so sweet. I'm gonna show you two more. I'm going to show you, um, this one is Anna's pegboard at home in her, in her private craft room. She has Aww. shared it over in the private Facebook group, so I didn't feel bad about sharing. Anna does not love color like I do. I think I got all of the fun jeans. We're twins, by the way, Anna's my sister, if you did not know. <laughs> um, but it's really pretty, and again, hers is super functional as well, and it's really pretty. You can see right here, she has her weeding tools. She has her paint brushes, uh, her washi tape, and her little scissors here her little hammer, um, and this is huge. So the one that I showed you earlier was just two, and then this one is four. So it looks really amazing in her room, and it's, uh, honestly, I would say it's the focal point of her craft room, but her craft room, I should take a picture of the whole thing. You all would not even believe. Yes, we it's need amazing. to see it. It's amazing. Um, have I missed anything? No, I don't think so. You can just interrupt me. Okay. I zoomed in. Whoops. Okay, and then this one is mine in my craft room at home. Um, again, super fun, bright. My mama made me this cute little quilt square. Look at that. Aww. I can't even zoom in, I don't think. There we go. Crafting is in the jeans. It is. There's a little bit of art from Fallon on here. Mine has changed since I took this picture too. But again, functional, on the wall organizational space. I highly recommend these pegboards from Ikea. I absolutely uh, love them. Donna says that she has one wall that is a pegboard. It helps her keep organized with all her sewing, embroidery, and craft things. Yes, I love that. Who all, who all here uses a peg wall or a pegboard wall? I want to know. Oh, how do you hang it on the wall? That's a fantastic question. Let me see if I can find a picture that will give you a close up. I can zoom in here. Why won't this go away? I want that to go away. Okay. Um, down here, right here. Oh so the IKEA pegboards come with this bar that you put with anchors into the wall, and then you attach the pegboards to the bar, and then use these little screw things right here to attach it to the bar. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. There's lots of. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Super easy. Ikea has made it like incredibly easy, kind of foolproof. And look at all these cute, I mean, I don't know. I, like I said, I am a color person, but this is just amazing. One more thing I wanted to show um, before we move on to making our labels is this other craft uh, cart here. So this is another way that you can organize your craft cart. Um, Artbin, have you guys heard of Artbin before? They sent us a ton of stuff that we could use to organize our craft room. And um, this right here is an art bin piece. And then this also is an art bin piece. But there are so many different organizational pieces, specifically for papers and card stocks, um, uh, all sorts of sewing things, paper crafting. You need to check them out if you were looking for some amazing um, storage for your craft room. Okay. Let's jump over into Design Space. If we don't have any questions, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how easy it is to create these labels that I am making today. Yeah, I don't think we have any questions. Okay. 
Um, someone does, Cat. she has a huge pegboard wall surrounded by LED lights. That Stop is it. such a good idea. Cat, why have I never seen this? I love IQ organization. Yes, we do too. Absolutely. Cheryl has three pegboards. Love one it. One for cricket, one for sewing, and one for all her other crafting. Oh. Oddly enough, I'm not allowed to put one on the dining room wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. You need to get <laughs> a new why. husband. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so these are the labels that we are making today. I actually made these cut fowls for you today because I wanted some fun labels. Um, I think it's this one. Let's see here. Yes, this is live on the site as of today. I've also linked it in the description for you all. But here are some different label options. And all you're going to want to do is ungroup, choose the one that you want, and then I just delete the rest of them because I'm not gonna use them. So I'll select them and press delete on my keyboard. And then you can see right here, I have a fun color palette that I've already pulled in so that I can color sync in just a moment. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you want our Design Make Sell class, our course because I teach something on this. Um, and that, just stay tuned for that. So it's Becca, amazing. Where did you get the designs at that you just deleted? Where did those come from? From our website, Makers Gonna Learn. Okay. Yes. And um, if you are not already a member and you want these labels, um, the best way to get them is to click the link below to join our $1 membership. And this is one of the cut file options that you can download. You can download 20 cut files and or fonts. And if you want this, then this is one that you can grab. So definitely click that link and join the dollar trial membership. Okay. so. I knew that I wanted these labels to be three and a half inches because I measured them. Um, so up at the top, I'm just gonna come up and delete the measurement there and put in 3.5, just like that. And then what I did was duplicate this because you can see there's an outline around here. So I'm gonna duplicate this, bring it over here and then duplicate it again. And then what I'm going to do is place it right here, unlock the size lock ratio, and then I'm going to kind of just drag and drop right here until this kind of looks even here. You can also select both layers by dragging and dropping, come up to a line and press center. And then once you have it good and centered, what you're going to want to do is come to the bottom right hand and press slice. So we're sort of cutting out the center of this. We can delete these slice results by pressing delete on our keyboard or pushing delete up here. And then we have this outline. So let's go ahead and change the color of this to our light pink that we want. Then I'll change the color of this to the dark pink. And then what I want to do is just line these up together. I'll center them just like that. Now what I want to do once I have them sized, the colors changed, the slicing is finished, I'm going to duplicate this so that I have six labels because that's how many I needed for this particular project. Duplicate again, and then we can duplicate one more time so that we have our six here, just like this. And then what I did was grab a text box and I'm gonna type in the um, colors that I want. So I'm just gonna do pink, purple, blue, it doesn't have to be the same green, brown, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, we'll do black. And then before I do anything, I want to come up to the font and I'm going to choose the Mary Catherine font. That is a Maker's Gonna Learn font. If you grab the Dollar Trial membership, I highly suggest this be one of the fonts that you download. I use it all the time. Um, the only other thing that I want to do here is increase the spacing between my letters just a little bit. So I'll come up to where it says letter space and then increase that way. And then one thing that I wanna show you, what we do a lot of times here is ungroup and then we have to group each line individually. You don't have to do that. And I don't know why we skip this. You can come up where it says advanced and then go, you can either ungroup to letters or ungroup to lines. So if I press ungroup to lines, then each line is grouped individually and I don't have to go in and manually do that. 
My mind is just blown. I don't know why we do this all the time. <laughs> so much easier. Um, before I did that though, I should have changed the color here. Let's go back. Go back. I'm just pressing Command Z to undo what I've done. And then I want to change the color here. And then I can even size down however I want here. If you do it all together, then it saves steps of having to individually. Oh, that is so smart, Becca. I never even thought of that. I know, Kendall. It's only because I've done it the hard way so many times. <laughs> <laughs> Once it is sized, then go back up to that advanced option and ungroup it to the lines. Now what you can do is make it actually do what it's supposed to do. There we go. Um, kind of just pull these over and then I'm going to use the centering tool just like I did or the alignment tool just like I did so I don't have to fight with it and try to make it look perfect. Let's zoom in just a little bit here. Anna says, ungroup to lines. You just changed my world. Right? Right? Is this app on iPhones too? Is the Design Space app on iPhones? There is a mobile version. Um, it's not quite as user-friendly as the desktop version, but it is definitely doable. I think... Um, Offset may not be available, and I think the curved text is still not available, um, but pretty much everything else is. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just select these three layers right here, press align, and center. And then I'm going to do the same with the other labels. Line and center, align and center. I wish there were a keyboard shortcut for this. Align and center, same here. And then same here. And now they're all centered up and beautiful. Let's move this one down here. Everyone is so shocked about what you just did. The, um, the ungrip to line, line right? Yes. We never do that. It's amazing, right? I absolutely love that. Okay, so the only other thing that we need to do here in order to get our labels ready is just to select all of them. And right now there are three layers per label and we need to flatten them to create a print and cut um, image. So we just come over here to flatten and press flatten. And now it says print and cut. And you do need to make sure that the label sizing is in the design space restriction, which is 6.75 by 9.25. And if your labels are too big, it will alert you right up here. See that little guy? it'll let you know that they're too big. So if you're making huge labels, you may need to flatten them individually so that they print out, um, so that they print out on multiple pages if you need them to be. Okay, I'm gonna delete this because I don't need it. Um, and then we can go ahead and delete this because we don't need it. And then we can go ahead and click make it. And then I wanna show you one other thing. I have already printed these out, but I wanna show you one thing. Um, in the print process. Go ahead and press continue. What you want to do to create amazing print and cut images is tell your printer to create amazing print and cut <laughs> images. So when you press send a printer, I'm getting click happy here. Okay. You want to add bleed just in case your machine needs to be calibrated for print and cut. It will give you a little bit of wiggle room when cutting. And then you want to press use system dialog box. And when you do that, you have to press print, minimize design space, and then your dialog box will come up here. You want to increase the quality of your print and cut to best. Otherwise, if you're doing an image that has a solid background or something like that, a lot of times it can print lines into it. If you increase your print quality to best, it will not do that. And then because we are using a thick printable vinyl, we do want to let our printer know, our computer know, to print to the rear tray of the printer. Then when we press print, it will print out. But I was afraid that my printer would be a little finicky, so I went ahead and printed it out. We have right here, hopefully I don't have to zoom out here. Um, if you haven't done print and cut before, this black thing around here is the registration marks. And this is what the, the machine will read to know where to cut. So when you put your print and cut on your mat, it needs to go in the top left-hand corner of your mat. And then I'm going to grab my brayer here and bray this down. It is a good idea if you have kind of clammy hands or something to use a brayer when you're dealing with print and cut 
because um, it may it could smear the ink if it wasn't good and dry. Okay, now that that is finished, we will go ahead and load it into our machine and we'll let it cut out. Oh, it would help if I had my machine on. The disadvantage here. Okay, you can go to that camera if you want to. The, the three? The front, yeah, the uh, one. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't line three up very good. Yeah. What paper are you like, using? Uh, maybe Fantastic should. question. This is the Vinyl Glossy Zakoto uh, brand printable vinyl that we love. I did link it for you, so definitely check out the link in the description. We love. I've said it like 16 times. If you have Rachel Hands, use a rare Aaliyah. Rachel Hands. She would say that if she were here. So funny. Which, by the way, uh, Rachel is having a fun day. It is her mammal B's birthday, and they have a fun tradition um, that they go. I can't say. I'm have to. <laughs> I mean, I, if you craft from the side, maybe this is not a great idea. I'm gonna move it. Um, anyway, they have a fun tradition. They go to Pigeon Forge for her birthday, which. I think a lot of people know what Pigeon Forge is around here. Yeah, surely. Um, and go to this place called the, is it the, the Inn Christmas, Christmas Inn. Place? I think it's the Christmas Inn. Or Why am I getting a red flashing button? Hold on. This is real life, friends. So if I were getting a red flashing button, what I would do is cancel the cut, uh, turn my printer off, or turn my machine off, um, and then just restart it. We'll restart it. Hopefully this troubleshooting works well. Let's see here. Okay, we don't have a red. I'll just go back through the make it process here. No biggie. Um, continue. Okay, it looks like it's gonna work this time. One thing that I hate, and I've said it a million times, one thing that I hate about these new machines is that um, it won't let you feed. Like before, if I hadn't selected a material, I could go ahead and feed in here. Um, but you have to select your material first before you can do that. So I'm gonna choose the printable vinyl material setting, just like that. And then it will let us load our map. I wish I had set, well, now that we don't have everything on there, you can go to camera three if you want. Okay, scoot over a little more. This way? Yeah, Okay. a little more that way. Other way? That way still. Okay. Okay, now we have our flashing start button, and you can see now um, there's going to be a little light that comes up that reads this. Now, if you have trouble with your machine reading the registration marks on your printable project, there are a couple of things you can do. Uh, we have friends who like to take a matte tape and put it over the lines so that the reflection from the light is not so significant um, that it's not readable. We have friends who will take an eraser and sort of dull the registration marks. We have also found that if you change the lighting a little bit, so we have these overhead lights in here, um, and sometimes that can be super reflective and affect the uh, sensor on the Cricut. Um, so if that's the case for you, then maybe even try a different room or something like that. Um, can we still do this if we don't have a rear feed tray? It's totally dependent on your actual, your actual printer. Some printers will print those thicker um, materials. However, the Pixma series cannons, all the ones that we've ever tried, get stuck from the bottom tray. I, I would say it's worth trying um, or maybe even read some reviews on your specific printer to see how people have fared with uh, printing thicker uh, papers. Oh, this is looking good. Friends, if your print and cut is not fantastic, if when you do your print and cut, it leaves white around it or it sort of looks off a little bit, check out our video um, on YouTube, how to calibrate your machine. You definitely wanna do that. If you have a brand new machine, even I suggest doing that uh, prior to ever doing any print and cut. I don't know if this machine has ever been calibrated actually. I never calibrated my Cricut. I didn't even know you could do that. Yes. That it makes a, a huge tip. difference, yeah. This actually doesn't look like it needs a calibration. It looks like it's cutting very well. So that's amazing. 
Okay, finished. And one thing that you can do with these labels, if you wanted, instead of cutting with a kiss cut, so right now this just pulls off just like this. I'm gonna leave this because we'll probably use it in there. Um, but if you wanted to cut all the way through, then you could use a craft board setting. And so it would cut all the way through even the back paper. If you were if you were making like stickers to hand out or something, that would look super prof professional that way. Look at my table, Kendall. <laughs> sort of like a tornado in here. And this is an organization log. I know. <laughs> what are the odds? Doesn't look so great, does it? <laughs> But anyway, now we've made labels. I I want to know if you if you all are label makers, definitely use these new files. There's some really cute, yes. um, some cute shapes in there, and you can also use these for tags, like Christmas tags, like for presents and things. Oh, that is such a good idea. Yeah, you could flatten some of our amazing Christmas um, files. I know, like when I was little, which was a long time ago, my mom would put my name on literally all my school supplies. Yes. So I don't know if that's still a thing. That would be adorable, yeah, wouldn't it? Yes, my kids, I customize everything, and they're like, don't put my name on that. <laughs> what? We have a glow forage here, and Court sent me some, um, you can customize pencils. So there's like this little tray that you can make for the glow forage and put pencils in and then engrave the name on. Did you have oh. engraved pencils when you were a kid? Yeah. Same, I loved them. And she was like, yeah, that's really amazing for people who, or kids rather, who never find their name on things. Like Beckett and Fallon yes. will never find their name on customized things unless I do it. What was the cut setting you used? So for this, just a kiss cut, I used the printable vinyl setting. Um, I've had a label maker since high school and they were a hand click. Oh yeah, the click ones. I also love the Dymos. I use those a lot. Um, it is Kendall. It's not Courtney. Yes. Miss Kendall's here with me. <laughs> yes, Christmas tags, Lorraine. Uh, we may actually do a live on that. That yes, would be that fun. That is such a good idea. Yeah. Oh, Debbie's doing labels for her grandson right now. I what love that. Post pictures. Yes. Sorry, I have to leave. Shirley, thank you for attending with us. Everyone, if you um, have not already liked the video and you do like the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me, please. If you are a first time viewer here at Makers Gonna Learn, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can get notifications. You also have to turn on the notifications. But so you can get notifications every time we're live or um, pre-recorded. So anytime that we release our content. Um, anyway, thank you all so much. Again, Kendall's going to drop the link for you. If you are not already a member of Makers Gonna Learn, I want to invite you to join the best community ever. Uh, we love our crafty friends here and we love to teach you. We love to inspire you and we love to give you the motivation and education to be amazing crafters. So join today with the Dollar Travel membership, see what we're about and see how we can help you become an amazing crafter. Thank you so much for being here and we will see you Wednesday for another live here on YouTube. Yeah, bye guys.